Hello and warm welcome to this very special soul. I am your host, Lovis Packerel. Yes, indeed, this is a very special show because we have in studio with us is the Grand Master Shin, who is the father of the Taekwondo in Nepal. Today we are witnessing the great day. The book, this book, Root of Nepal Taekwondo, has been published today, and this is written by none other than Grand Master Shin. Without wasting single moment, let's welcome Master in our show. Please welcome to the show, sir. Thank you. As we just mentioned about your uh, appearance in Nepal, your efforts in Nepal to oh. introduce this Taekwondo okay. in, back in 1983. In this great okay. day, how do you remember your those struggling days? Okay, in... Uh, <clears throat> I visited in Kathmandu exactly 40 years ago. December 1982. The Kathmandu sky is very clear, the blue sky. And the Kathmandu air is very fresh, it's sweet. And people is very kindness. Um, the Kathmandu environment and peaceful, very peaceful. I love it. This is my heaven, so I like it. I met uh, Mr. Shara Chandrasya, Nepal Olympic Committee President. Um, his office <coughs> in Rangashala. He talked to me briefly, introduced about the Nepal sports history. What he said, we have no any single medal in Asian game and Olympics. So he tried to develop Nepal sports. So he invited many international coaches, like a German um, football coach, Japan judo coach, and Russian uh, boxing and weightlifting coach, and other few more uh, coaches. But <clears throat> I'm just introduced this approach. But after I uh, listen his uh, sports history, then I hope to, I want to challenge. I want to introduce this approach. I want to bring the first Asian Games and Olympic Games medals. Then I think about. What I do first, start, and I check what is our advantage, what is the disadvantage. Then, you know, our girl, before I came here, I teach at the British girl class in Hong Kong. I know girl class split. They are eager to fight. They are very strong soldiers in the, in the world. So also people, they are born in <coughs> Himalayas, a very it's a mountain, so naturally strong feet. So they are good fighting split and good a strong leg. Why not? I want to challenge. Then I check it out the facilities. You have nothing no any facilities. Then we start at the playground in Langashala and playground in uh, police training center. But limited, we are very limited practice because of the facility. When you're raining, you can't practice. Then another one problem is We have it. I want to practice. I, I my program is like a gold medal training. It's hard training. But players are injury, and they can't follow my uh, training. Then I found out they are sick. They have injury. 
because of diet, we we ha- we need the uh, uh, sufficient calorie for the players, but we can't. I understand our sp- sports council budget. We cannot do like of <coughs> other countries <coughs> players. Then I change my programs. I cannot do hard training. So I change as something mental training and physical uh, technical training. So mental training means um, we eager to fight for nation. Not for themselves. Of course, yeah, themselves is for him, but most important is <laughs> we are working for country. <laughs> Until that time, I met several players like uh, boxing or football. After we training, we meet at the front of uh, Rangashala. We have a coffee shop. Uh, tea, tea shop, then we talk. What kind of training? Sometimes they go into the international meet. I ask them, oh, you have, a, you can have a, any single chance? They say, we are no any chance. We know. They say, we know, we can't. But why are you going? They say, Shopping? Sightseeing? So, so there is a lack of killing instinct inside the player. Yes. Yes, uh, masters. Yeah. Uh, back then, uh, we can understand what was the conditions. Mm-hmm. This book, dear audience, this book is the detailed contains the detailed chronological order and the development of the Taekwondo in Nepal. And it will be a great resource materials for the students, sports persons, and all of the Nepalese citizens as well. But the masters, it took around a third, three decades to bring this book. Mm-hmm. So why it is so late? Okay. And why, yes. how, why do you, how yes. do you realize that such kind of a chronological details has to be uh, published in Nepal? Okay. I, after I left Nepal, I slowly watched my teams. I want to see the World Championship and Olympics. I never Nepalese the flag on the World Championship medal ceremony. And also, I never seen Nepali flag on the Olympic medal ceremony. Then. I tried to contact Nepal Sports Council. <coughs> All of my, many my students said, ask me, oh, you need send your opinions to the Sports Council, some kind of advice. Then one day, uh, one of my assi- Nepalese assistant, he dropped what is a change your system? Then after I send the letter, I never got any a drop of lines. Then uh, times to times I saw the internet and the website of Nepal, Nepal Taekwondo. And sometimes rumors. So, the, the, the part taken the story is completely fake. So, if many people ask me that kind of website. Then they ask me, you are fake. You are training at introduce taken in Nepal. See the website. There is some other persons there. There's, so somebody asked, you are really teaching Nepalese people? Then I joke, 
But then I really saw, accidentally saw the Nepal Tekken website. This is something wrong. I should be <coughs> in writing real story of Taekwondo. Then I go check it out, all my student, all the information, all the 83, and before the 83, we training at the Hong Kong British Gurkhas. British Gurkha is the most senior student. And there is an old senior student, then I get some information from them. Then the more many uh, players talk to me. We need write story. That story is for next generations. If we take story, they cannot understand what we did. So I starting to write this book. In 1993, uh, Chief Grand Master Shin enters into the Nepal. Back then a very least developed country without any infrastructure, uh, Master Shin started working in Nepal. And within the three years, Nepal has reached, managed to participate in the Taekwondo Championship held in the Denmark, Seoul, Korea, and other international platform. Masters, isn't it look like a miracle? Within three years, uh, you take over in 1983 and within the 1986, yes. we have international medal. Yes, it is. Uh, we are first our sport council officials, Mr. Shara Chandra Shah's leadership, and the you know, Minister of Education and and Culture, Mr. Mr. Uh, Minister and Pisano Gopal, Shrestha, they, they uh, we are kind of training, taking the training. I want to introduce personally because they more understand and help for our taking the players. So, so really hard. Then how can I do develop? How can I players to uh, uh, <clears throat> the strong players in the world. Then I train them more mental side because uh, you are strong. Number one, we need strong mind. If we are not strong mind, the, whatever they good techniques, they give up. So I make a pro chart. What how can we win? What is our advantage? What is our disadvantage? Then I talk with, uh, I make a program and I show the Mr. Shara Chandra Shah. We going to do this, this, this way has more chance. So let's go. I, we need this, this kind of possibility at least. Then they give us a more better diet and uh, <coughs> more training equipment and we are more participated in, in local uh, tournament and we're going to the Pokhara of uh, into we are open the school in Pokhara, Rumbini, Anna Rumbini is a uh, Hetola side and uh, the What's the, what's the place? It's a, um, so anyway, so we are, uh, introduced several uh, cities, major cities, and want to find out best players. So we, it is just introduced Taekwondo, so we are, we, we don't have enough players. So we want to, I want to check out any kind of sport who is talented. Karate people, judo people, I will coach know how they talented. If it's good, eager to fight, 
Then we selected the players and train. And then also, I'm coach, but uh, <coughs> sports council officers, they helped me a lot. So we uh, developed together. People from the 1980s era never forget that Asian game took place in the Sheol. That was the 10th Asian game. One fine morning, Gorkha Patra published the news that Pidhan Lama has managed to win a bronze medal for this nation. I personally do have that newspaper cutting in my diary as well. Still, I remember that day how what was that was the marvelous feeling. First time the Nepalese flag in the international game, especially in the Asian <clears throat> games level, has been raised to in the international arena. Masters, mm -hmm. in that time when you, you and your squad went to the Sheol, uh -huh. have you ever imagined that your mm -hmm. squad can manage a four bronze model in yeah. that event? Yes, that is a... I, what is my aim is at that time, I want to bring first Asian game medal. Then what can I do? We have clear programs, project, and <coughs> then all our players, also they are eager to bring the medals. And we have most strong uh, uh, players is our team leaders, captain, welterweight Raj Kumar Rai. Raj Kumar Rai is uh, we teach that the uh, British Gurkha in Hong Kong. So he joined our training. So he is mentally strong, physically strong. So I thought he will bring the at least the silver medal compared to you know uh, the Asian levels, and also I brought I guess uh, three other players like uh, Pinweight, Pidan Rama, Flyweight, Pokrail, Harisol Pokrail, and Bantamweight uh, Army uh, Gache. So we these guys. Is more uh, other than other players is most most good technically good physically good. So I expected that one. But hap what happened? Rajkumar Rai is his, he when you training at the Seoul. He have a just trained uh, army army. Mister, I think he's a gache. He kick hard kick to his leg so he cannot move one day before he played he is cannot use his leg so he's unlucky if he is a good condition i guess he brought at least the silver medal and so <clears throat> they out uh, our uh, teams our players they are best training under my uh, <coughs> leader, leadership. Yeah. How can we forget that 1988 Seoul Olympics? One more priceless medal for you, uh -huh. the nations. Yes, it's a, after Asian game, our players and they they say we can do it attitude because. Before, they say, no, we can't. Now, Asian Games, we have after medals. Our team is thinking, we can do it. If we do it, why not? World Championship and Olympic, no problem. Then before Olympics, I do this is my last aim. What can I do? I need the energy. I need the power. Then by myself, I'm lead of team. I'm just ri riding the wheel of the car. Whatever I do, they follow me. So I need, should, I must be strong leaders. 
Then I joined Korean expedition team in 1987. Everest expedition team. I want to learn more patience and I want to get some power from Mount Everest. So I joined and I going to the Rukra, Namche <coughs> Baja. And and Mupche and, and base camp. But I decide I wanna go see the Mount Everest sun rising. Then I wanna get from them power from <coughs> Mount Everest power. Energy. Then wake up three o'clock in the morning, it's a cold, really cold. And and Galapata, we climb the Galapata, it's three four step, stop. Three four step, one minute. It's a real hard training. Patience training. Then we, I saw the sunrise. Then I prayed for Nepal. Please, top of the world, this is in Nepal. So give us courage, give us energy. So I take off my coat and change my taking the uniform. And because taking the I'm taking the coach, taking the uniform, change uniform is hard because of too cold, but I want to, not like a regular coat. I change take on the uniform, but that is kind of split. My I want a strong split. Then, so I got a power over there. We going to the Olympics. Then I want to drive right way. So we fight with the first United Kingdom. United Kingdom is the best players in Europe. Then how can I beat? Then I talk my prayers. Okay, you and me, we are working for the country. Whatever you, even you die, died, you fight at the court. Don't give up. Okay, and you go fight and hero. So this is a, <coughs> your life. Your life challenge. So don't give up. So we beat the United Kingdom. We beat West Germany. We fight with now America. If we win the America, we going to the final in you know, in Korean. Korean, Korean is the best team at that time. Then I met a American coach. He's asleep before you before you going to the uh, <coughs> arena. Then I asked him, "What are you doing? You sleep?" Then he told me, "I cannot sleep yesterday night." Then what do you do? I met all lepris. He going to the hall. <coughs> Replish rooms and talk some. This is a kind of, you know, <laughs> a kind business. of a threat. And yeah. Developed. Then they spend lots of money for that kind of, you know, relationship. But we, we have no money. We just, if we have a money, one dollars, we better have more diet for our players. That's much different situations. Very hard to win, but anyway, we trying to uh, we always we fight best, but we lose. But I think even we lost America, but um, our practice we sweat. Our sweat is uh, varies more than gold medal because they are we are different different levels. You know, they have a best facility, best diet, best calories, but what do we do? 
which has potato, corn. You know, we have no energy. For example, if your car racing, they have a super gas, but you have even gas, you mix some water, something like, you know, <laughs> it's, you cannot compare the position, but yes. we are good fight because our Nepalese is a very strong mental fight spleen. Master, well, Root of <coughs> Nepal Taekwondo, this book, truly a priceless book. But uh, your students, fellow sports <coughs> carriers and the squads, Brigadier General Dr. Shudha Sen and other students have also uh, put a lot of hard work to publish this book. So, mm. um, would you like to express your gratitude for them? Yes, yes uh, I met them. Mm -hmm. Mostly uh, seniors, I met them, met them at the uh, British Gurkha in Hong Kong. Uh, that is a, uh, I think, as a second camp. We are training in mostly weekend. But when you training, they are focused, very focused and really want to learn. And when I start in, in Kathmandu, without them, I cannot, you know, they are so much help me. Like Sudha Sen is mo mostly in only one girls, ladies, but he's a first on black belt, a uh, first woman's uh, black belt. And Ekna Tapa also helped me a lot because he was in practice in Hong Kong. Before, before uh, there's only black belt. The other one is we have red belt in uh, Dinesh Rai, Dipraj Guru, and Amish, Amish Resta. I met them in, in, in Darjeeling. So they are practicing Darjeeling. And they, when I come in here, they want to join our <coughs> uh, groups. Then post few months uh, of Suda and Eknas, uh, they involved of uh, <coughs> training, and then gradually they get a black belt in, in April 1983, yeah. Master, you're keenly absorbing the development of Taekwondo still in Nepal. Are you satisfied with the current Taekwondo exercise and the current Taekwondo positioning? Yes, that is a good question. Because of I looted this sport in Kathmandu, Nepal, I really want to some kind of advice or change system. For this, you know, when I come in traveling in Kathmandu, all rela relationship, I don't know why we have a break a gap. They doesn't want to touch me. You know, it's kind of, when I come here, they are uncomfortable. So they are uncomfortable feeling I doesn't want to touch. Really, I want to help. But the situation is, you know, unfortunately, we have between something block. So we cannot good relationship. I really want to develop. I want, I want to give idea, and we exchange idea. Okay, then, last thirty-five years, the system is looks like they are satisfied in South, uh, uh, South Asia, this area. I want to see more. 
moving Pacific, across the Pacific, and all, all of the world river, not in small area. This is a small, small, small world, but go to the open worldwide. Okay, see the uh, uh, other countries, what they doing, what they training, and more, get more information. Then we can develop taekwondo. But here, see one. If you give a chance, okay. If you are coach, give a chance. If you are some any positions in other country, if you are not result, if you cannot bring any medals, you are fired. But here, last thirty five years, the same person, same manche. Even you lose, it's the same manche. But you have to change. That is their duty. If we no result, fire and give a chance to other persons. So your system is, you know, something change your system. Where is Vidhan Lama? You know, audience, he is in the USA, working in the security system of the US. Isn't this a pathetic? You know, Master, most of the Medellians are right now not in Nepal. Isn't that pathetic? Yes, he say. How can we have to handle this? Yes, it's a, that is a hard question. See, see Nepal sports, oh, there is, if we did get some medals over then sports council should be a kind of a job, give a good job. So even if they get a, a medals international level, but we don't have any good positions. That's me. First, we need the money. <laughs> yes, we take care of children. Then where I can get? So they look outside. Better than Kathmandu, then they leave. But I know we are working for the nations. But number one, take care of myself, money. The government should be some more uh, <coughs> take care of our players, say, if some kind of good job or some good salaries, then there is only way to stay in Kathmandu and lead next uh, players. Grandmaster, yeah. we are at the end of this, so, <laughs> so would you like to uh, put something from our young audience and young Nepalese people? Uh -huh, yes. And a uh, new generation, they don't know us because it's already 30, 40 years past. So all the parties, we are strong. Our young generations, they learned how we did. You can do it. Why not? We can do it. You can do it. Okay. If you work hard, I'm 100% sure you bring the Olympic medals. So, you know, Olympic medal means that is our country images. If your country images means, oh, we can do. There are so many developed, but I saw it's in sports council, sports. People change very soon. You know, when you have something to planning, two, three years gone, then you change. Then I want the connection with them, but we talk something to agenda, then few years later, they finish, they gone, gone. Then I meet new, per new person, commitment to new person, new person. So what I 
want to suggest there is something even they uh, change the officers the like a coaching system or some relationship with the part some part we need to keep that position then you can continue uh, 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 a relationship with them and develop even go to the you know the case let's say example uh, uh member secretary change but somebody there is uh, you know assistant or some part should be keep a connection with the outside and you have a there are so many I we, our uh, uh, connection is the United United Kingdom United States there's many countries but we can arrange the training example in in United States my son have 12 years for 10 American Tech in the Union we have a good connections then we can you know we have a channel how we could trainings but I don't know why we have a want to want to keep a, a connect and a relationship, want to relationship but uh, my feeling he doesn't want to my feeling but I don't know what, what the feeling let's hope things will change again we'll make a good come back in um, so many sports area. Thank you, Master, for giving you precious time. It's a matter of okay. pride for us to having you in our show. Thank you so much. Thank you, Master. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> Thank Namaste, you. Sir. Yeah. Yes, audience, that was Grand Master Shane and his effort, this book. Please, please, please do read this book. This is a priceless book and the chronological history of the winning and the medal winning Nepal. I hope we, you all enjoy this. So thank you for being with us. Namaste. <laughs>